Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to the last day of For the Better, 31 days of pursuing the heart of God, and today is day 31. <laughs> How well would you guys say you knew the Bible? I don't want this last day to somehow be a, a religious catapult, but if we're going to really know the Lord, we have got to know the things that he's already said. In that, that book of 66 little books, God's heart is all in there through the beginning and the history, through the Psalms, through the Proverbs, through the major prophets, the minor prophets, the Gospels, the Epistles, all, I mean, prophecy is all throughout all of those. End times prophecy is all throughout all of those. It's not just in the book of Revelation, trust me. Um, but what you see in that Bible, when you read it, is the heart of God. May you just see him revealed in so many different situations that you come to realize after studying it, after really reading it, and not only just reading it, but really engaging God in it, you know, because you can have the word, but then the word just by itself without relationship with God, well, that's what the Pharisees had. That's why when Jesus came, they didn't recognize him. But it's like for us, we have the Holy Spirit and we have the, the Word of God. With that, we can really engage in the writer of the book, you know? It's like a, if someone had my novels, my, my wife, she's always asking me detailed questions about my novels and my characters and the story. And it's like, well, well what was she thinking here? And what was she thinking there? And the cool part about that is I can actually answer all of her questions because I wrote the books. I wrote the novels, you know, and that's what it's like when you have a relationship with God. It's more than just going to seminary and rehearsing a bunch of stuff, even though it does take work, just like any relationship takes work, right? But it is so key for us to know what God has already said, because that is how you get to know him. That's, it's almost like, well, if you really want to get to know God, get to know all the things that he said first. And then as you um, do that, he'll walk with you through all that. He'll be like, yeah, this is what I meant here, or this is what I meant on this situation here. And sometimes he'll be silent on things and he won't, he won't necessarily give you a revelation for different reasons to kind of drag you along to see how much you really do want to know this. I mean, it's just great having that relationship with God and all the different dynamic twists and turns that come with it. But it's like, it all comes by you building a great foundation, you know, a great building is only as great as its foundation is great. And it's like when we know the word of God, not a religious dogma, well, this is what I believe and I'm not gonna change it. Well, that thank you, you know, have a great religion. You know, that's not it. It's just when you get into the word, you wanna get into the word for one reason and one reason only, and that is to know the author of the book. So the challenge today is not to read the Bible on one day. <laughs> That's not the challenge. The challenge is to begin a journey of you getting really knowing the word. Man, I spent probably 15 years just reading, reading, reading the word. That's, I mean, that, that's what I did. It's not because I had to, it's because I really wanted to. And it was like searching for gold. It was like mining for gold. There's a lot of work that goes into that. But what are you looking for? What are you searching for? You're searching for something that when you find it, it is going to make you filthy rich. You know, it's worth the work, you know, and it's like for God, it's like it's worth the work, man. It's like and it's not even a work. It's like doing something you're passionate about. Yes, it takes work and there's a lot of discipline that goes into it, but that's not really what it is. It's not just work and discipline. See, that's what you get with religion if you try to approach the Bible religiously. It's just, it, you get burnt out. You never get burnt out in a relationship with God and you go to that word and you're just like, Lord, give us this day our daily bread type of deal. And he just, you know, you get into the word and you, 
you are pursuing him through understanding the word. So today's challenge is kind of like a catapult into a deeper relationship with God, which is what this 31 days has always been about. So today we're going to end it the exact same way we began it. <laughs> we are going to ask God to give us revelation from his word about who he is. So let's pray, okay? For the last time on this 31 day journey. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus and we just wrap all of these days up by asking that from here on out, Lord, that you give us further revelation. Father, that you would help us to get into the word and stay disciplined and diligent in seeking you. And uh, that as we seek you, you would give us revelation. You give us freedom. You would warn us. You would instruct us. You would give us an eternal perspective. That you would show us how much you love us. And all the other days that we've uh, pursued you for, that you would just continue stoking all of those days, all of those challenges in our hearts and that we would see the truth of who you are as we constantly pursue you in reading your word and engaging with you in our relationship with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, congratulations, guys. You did it. 31 days. And uh, it just keeps going from here, doesn't it? Thank you for being a part of this journey. Be blessed, guys, and continue on this journey with the Lord. I hope it's, this journey has uh, been a blessing for you. I hope these 31-day challenge has been a blessing for you. Don't forget to uh, click the link below and get the uh, ebook because there's really cool stuff in the ebook. Maybe a little bit of different angle, or maybe some different uh, sentences and passages. Maybe some different revelations that are in the ebook that may not have made it into the videos. And the ebook is free, so just like this. Uh, 31 day challenge has been commercial free that is free you know I want this I wanted this challenge to be a free thing and the only cost that you were gonna have to pay was your time and your heart investment to see how much you want to get out of it so be blessed guys and you know take this 31 day challenge as many times as you want you know it's not just a, it doesn't have to be just a one-time thing you can do it as many times as you want um, as long as you know your goal is just to just know God and pursue Him and chase Him and just grab a hold of Him and see what He does. So it has been fun, guys. Continue to put comments on all the the different videos on all the different days and tell me like what God's been doing in your life and um, subscribe to the channel and continue to get further videos that I'll do beyond this. And I will see you guys later. Thank you.